Pile 2. Welcome to my channel. Sorry about the shaking, guys, on the camera. It's going to stop in just a second. I'm getting used to this whole recording thing. Um, so, Pile 2, welcome. So, we're going to see what energy um, you're inviting in for the um, Aries New Moon. Um, and we're going to see what shadow um, aspects of yourself that may come up and present itself and what you're able to do to help heal, transmute, and shift that energy um, so you can truly invite in the energy that you're trying to manifest. Um, so let's get started. So for those who chose Pal 2 um, and the Amethyst, this is great for activating the um, third eye and crown chakra. It also aids in self-control. Um, if you have issues with overindulgence, um, excessive drinking, excessive smoking, um, partying, um, excessiveness in unhealthy areas, and you're looking to balance that um, or release that, amethyst is actually a great stone. I learned that recently. I didn't know that. Um, I usually just use amethyst for um, my higher self activation and meditations, but yeah. Um, so let's get started, pal. So let's see what energy you're inviting in for the Aries new moon. Oh, pile two. So pile two, you got not only the amethyst, but look at this, the royal you. And I do apologize. Um, I do apologize about the the sunlight. Um, I pulled my table like halfway back so you guys could see my face. Um, but I know it's still reflecting in the card, so I apologize, but I will show you every card. So um, with the Royal You Pile 2, I am getting for this for the Aries New Moon. You are inviting in um, your higher self. Um, you are inviting in that higher self, divine goddess, uh, divine god um, energy. Um, this... I don't know why I don't I'm not sure if this is what a lotus flower looks like but that's the energy that I'm getting um, you're like a lotus flower blossoming and you're truly tapping into um, the crown chakra third eye energy activation um, you're tapping into your psychic gifts um, your expansion your inner divinity um, you're really tapping into the true spiritual version of self um, and you're stepping outside of what you're perceived um, to be in this physical reality um, and stepping into what the divine sent you here to be um, and created you to be and um, I feel like there's some confusion with this um, it's like trying to understand what your purpose is when I was shuffling to get the energy um, that you were bringing in, um, the cards kept flying out everywhere. It's like a lot of chaotic energy, a lot of unsure energy. Um, it's like you're trying different paths to really figure out which path is for you. And um, you may have some sense of enlightenment of what that is, but you're not all the way there. So with this Aries New Moon, it's like you're trying to, to see specifically what the divine sent here for you to do and fulfill that purpose within your divine royalty. All right. So we'll pop to, let's see what shadow self, um, what shadow aspects of self or pal two will be presenting itself for this moon in Aries. Coming up for pal two spirit. My spirit of my universe. Okay. So you got black flower fragrance, okay? It's interesting because this card is the number 16. This card is the number 16. So 16 um, in the traditional tarot deck is the tower, I believe. Um, so with that being said, you're going through the 
a major, major inner transformation, especially within the psyche. Um, and with the Amethyst Sun and this, the Royal You, um, it's a major transformation within. And with the Black Flower Fragrance, um, it's like with this inner transformation, you are, okay. So with this inner transformation, it's like um, with the black flowers that are surrounding, actually the black petals and thorns that are over the heart, um, it's like you're wanting to um, understand um, what the path of your higher self is, but there's still some darkness that clouds your heart um, and that you're in the process of releasing. And um, in this, it looks like, it's like she is stuck like in, a, in, a, in another reality. It's like tunnel vision in another reality. And this other reality is on the future and not the present, not the past. Um, but there are, are some dark aspects within self that still needs to be released and shed. And this is a, a tower moment within the heart itself. Um, and the tower moment within the heart is meant to connect and balance you with your higher self so that you can truly um, expand on this divine golden energy that you are meant to expand and be of in this lifetime. But with this as well, um, I said this in Powell One's reading, and I'm going to say this in your reading as well. Our purpose is to be a reflection of divine love. All that we do should come from the heart. Um, we should... You know, they say we should always operate within aspects of our higher, higher self, but I believe that we should um, operate in aspects of pure love from the heart. Um, when you start to do things um, where you ignore your heart or you're just fully focused on the self and you're not focused on, you know, giving back um, to the collective, which we're surrounded by people to be able to not only help ourselves, but help the collective as well. So when you choose to just hoard all of that for yourself and not give back to the collector for those that are in need, you're you're not opening your heart, you're more so closing it. You're, you create, it's like, it's like your heart is only open for self and it's not open for others. And, you create a closed off experience and that is not it's not truly fulfilling um and that's also creating a block with you reaching the higher aspects of yourself because you really need to tap into your overall heart chakra and if you don't um recognize um the healing that your heart chakra needs to truly achieve um the highest level um of divine expansion that you desire then you're gonna remain in this state of limbo and you're always gonna be looking towards the future and it's gonna be like, why is it not here? And it's because you're not, you're not opening your heart the way that you should. Um, and if you don't choose to do this on your own, um, to take initiative to shift this energy, then you know what we don't do, the universe will created for us to do and we don't want that um so let's see what um is the overall shower focus for pile two and this black it's like an all that glitters is not gold type of energy and it's like from the outside, you may seem to be truly, truly a divine being. And don't get me wrong, you are. But on the inside, you're not, you're not feeling that way. You, you feel like you're 
It's like you're still trying to find yourself, but others see you as being royal. And you, you truly, you don't even see yourself as being royal. Another purple card. Purple is a theme. Um, for this new moon, buy yourself purple flowers. Um, or take a bath with um, purple flowers and white flowers. Um, but in the Seven of Swords, okay. So <laughs> in the Seven of Swords, just like this black flower fragrance, they're both focused on the future, okay? And it's caring and it's crazy because it's it's trying to move forward but carrying all of these swords and they are in her heart sorry for covering my face guys but they are in her heart okay and <laughs> there's a full moon okay so and we have a scorpio full moon at the end of the month so with this aries new moon and you trying to um, truly invite in that royal goddess, God energy. Um, tap into the truest version of your highest self. There are some things that are being illuminated um, within your heart um, that is causing a lot of pain. Um, it may be past trauma uh, from childhood that you're carrying um, or some recent pain that you went through with a friendship or lovers or even pain and disconnect with um, your spiritual team and spiritual being um, and spiritual self because it's like you're, you feel like you're doing all of the right things when it comes to like self-care and, and you know, you may be journaling and all of the things, but you're truly in a selfish um, aspect of self, which is trying to move forward with a closed, broken, stagnated heart. And you cannot do that um, in order to, to achieve that. Um, I feel like I keep repeating that, but that's a major message. Major, major message. Let's see, what is the root of this for pile two? What is the root of this blocked heart? And then not being able to truly connect with the highest version of self. Spirit can please get one card for pile two on the root of this. And spirit universe. Can I get one more please? Oof. See how the cards are just I mean, that's how it was shuffling. It's like you're so unsure. And you feel like the best path is just to have a closed heart and move forward, and it's, it's not. And please, Spirit, just have one card for pile two in addition to the village group. Thank you. All right. All right, so you have the village. I'm so sorry, I keep covering my face. And you have the seed. Okay. So with this, you know, there's a lot of purple energy and there's a lot of black energy. So there's like a truly a battle between the light and dark energy within yourself. Um, and even with the black flower fragrance, she's surrounded by two. Um, I would say these are two full moons. So something that may have happened on the last full moon um, which I believe it was the, the Libra full moon. I know the Libra full moon definitely um, brought up some things within self that created, you know, tower moments within um, that caused and that caused for personal transformation. And um, some of us chose to acknowledge that and um, start to do the work to shift that energy and move forward. And a lot of us chose to just suppress it and keep moving forward. And 
with that, with the village, it's like you're, you're wanting to truly um, connect with your tribe. You're wanting to find um, a place that truly feels like home to you, um, that is safe, that is secure, that is um, vibrant, um, that is joyful, that is optimistic, um, that is whole. Um, and you're trying, you're planting seeds for that in your day-to-day -day life. However, the root of this is that in order to plant new seeds and to create a different reality, um, and to create a different shift in our, in the higher timelines, in our future reality, we truly have to, um, dig deep and go back to the beginning. Go back to the beginning of your memory and understand the cycles not only within ourselves but our family dynamic. Um, and when I say family dynamic, I mean parents, grandparents, great grandparents, brothers and sisters, and see the traits, the tr the traits of others that also affect us. One of the things that I like to do is if I'm invited to a family event, especially, I love to observe. Um, I journal daily. If I don't journal daily, I definitely catch up on what has happened in the days that I didn't journal. When I do journal, and I do a lot of reflection. I start with the self, and then I reflect on the environment and the interactions I have with others and how the interactions they have with other people. I also listen to how people speak about themselves and, and how they speak about other people, um, how they think, how they problem solve. Um, if they're in, if they speak in lack or if they, they speak in fulfillment, um, I pay attention to, I pay attention to all of that. And so, with that being said, when you're planting new seeds, um, and you're trying to create your own tribe and connect with your own village, you truly have to, um, go back to the past and understand the cycles that presented themselves in the past. So you can uh, find the root of that and shift that energy within yourself so that you create a new cycle when those seeds start to um, sprout and grow and create different branches, if that makes sense. All right, so let's see. For the heart chakra specifically for Pal 2, what is the focus for Pal 2 and the heart chakra? For this and then the Aries approaching. Can you skip one card, please? It's like so many decisions to make. So many options. Thank you, Spirit. So you got darkest fears. And this is blue and also purple. So with the darkest fears, and this is um, a card of nine. So nine is all about all about culminations, things coming together um, as a whole um, to figure out what direction you're going to go in. So you may, um, if not already, or in the coming days approaching this new moon, um, you may be presented um, of fears in your dreams. Um, in your day-to-day -day life, in your, your thoughts, your psyche, your subconscious that um, you don't want to deal with, you don't want to face. And um, instead of you ignoring it and trying to just focus on the future um, and proceeding forward, as said in Power One, um, stop, be present, um, acknowledge those fears, speak up about them. If you're um, dealing with someone, whether this is a friend, a partner, um, a family member, and there are some uneasy and, and um, triggering, I want to say unhealthy, but I don't think that's the word, uneasy and triggering conversations that need to be had for you to truly um, speak your truth and have your own inner peace, then do that. Um, you can communicate from a place of love, compassion, tapping into that heart chakra. Um, you, can, you can communicate from a place of love 
and compassion and empathy um, while maintaining your truth and your integrity and your authenticity um, because activating that third chakra is also release. Just like um, taking um, a spiritual bath or a spiritual shower is release. Crying is release. Writing it down, writing every feeling that you have down. If you don't feel comfortable speaking to these people, that's release. Um, truly, truly release and honor that energy that comes up no matter who may like it. You have to do this for yourself. Um, when you start to do things for yourself, that's when you, as you release, the more you open up. Um, and as you release, you also have to allow yourself to be vulnerable as well. And with being vulnerable and tapping to the highest version of yourself, that is trusting that God, that the divine, your ancestors, your angels and guides, they will never leave you nor forsake you. Um, they will, they will never allow you to put yourself in a another fucked up situation that hurts you and traumatizes you if you truly have faith and believe and surrender not only you have faith in yourself but have faith in them and have faith in your spirit team um because they're all working for you and not against you and truly dabbing and tapping into your your true self-worth and how not only um, the outside sees you, but how the divine sees you and opening your heart to that and knowing that you are loved. Um, you deserve to be loved. You deserve to have the purest version of love within and in your outer reality and speak on that, verbalize that. And if, if someone or people are in your reality that don't reflect or don't reciprocate that, it's okay to disconnect. Um, because what is what is taken away from us is, is always replaced by something better. Um, and when you truly reflect on that, you'll start to see that in your reality. All right. Let's see what angel messages are for my pile too. What angel messages for? Thank you. So we have seven of fire which is also seven of swords. So you have 16, 16, seven, seven. So you may also see uh, one, one, six, six, seven, seven. <sighs> A lot of spiritual transformation. And this seven of wands states, defend your beliefs and decisions, stand your ground, choose your battles wisely. Pile two. I love when spirit confirms. Activate that throat chakra, baby. Activate that throat chakra. Speak your truth, okay? What you desire, your true heart's desires are valid. Your true heart's desires deserve to be fulfilled. Your true heart's desires, it's all two, 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 um, on the clock. Your true heart's desires and what you feel is right for you, what you feel like you deserve, what you feel like you are worthy of, Baby, it, it's, it's you, it's yours. You are on the money, you deserve it. However, for you to truly see yourself and open up as a divine wants you to see yourself and open up, stand firm, stand grounded, express yourself transparently, authentically, honestly, Speak your truth to those who need their who need your truth to be spoken to. Um, and when people have a difference of opinion, respect that you don't have to agree. You can agree to disagree from a respectful place. Um, and that is where you tap into that heart chakra empathy and compassion and understand and accept that not everyone is gonna have your point of view. And that's fine, everyone has their own journey that's different. Um, but for you, stay true to yourself. Stay true to your heart's desires. Stay true to connecting to your higher self <clears throat> at all times. And when 
those times come up because spirit is going to test you with your heart if it hasn't already been tested to see how much are you going to open up how much are you going to um continue to suppress yourself or repress your inner child repress your heart um repress your spirit team um ignore them how how much longer are you going to continue to do that because you have work to do and you have some royalty to achieve and grasp in this lifetime but in order to do so you have to dig within and specifically within the heart and open up and have those those painful conversations from a place of love and if you don't know what to say, if you don't know where to start, talk to your spirit team, talk to God, pray about it, meditate, um, and ask him to give you the words, to give you the words to start um, so that you can finish. You have so much power, like you have so, so much power, so much fire energy um, within, but your heart is so closed off. Release and open. And then once you do that, everything that your heart desires will start to come into reality without you even having to ask for it. It's like once you start to move a certain way in life and you make a decision, I am a pure divine, I am a pure divine being of love. Um, I deserve love. In my inner reality, in my outer reality, I am love. My heart is open. Um, no matter what I've been through, it does not define me. The past is not my present nor my future. I am royalty. I am divine. I am divinely balanced. I am emotionally balanced. I am emotionally fulfilled and secure within. Once you start to operate and you, you know um, that you are what you are, you are the energy that you desire to attract. You are that force of life. You are that force of inspiration. You are that force of royalty. Then your reality just starts to reflect that. And it's truly amazing. Like, and that's that law of attraction energy. Um, what you give back, what you choose to be true to within yourself, what you choose to honor within yourself, um, no matter who it may offend or who it may trigger. And you're, you're just honest and authentic and transparent and you speak your truth, truly speaking your truth and not feeling ashamed about what your truth is. Um, that's when you truly, truly tap into that royal energy and life is truly full of divine bliss. All right, pal two. So for final messages, let's see um, for your daily release and surrender to the divine, what the daily prayer message and meditation for you is for this upcoming new moon in Aries. What is the daily prayer meditation of divine spirit that calls you? A lot of inner energy needs to be expressed. You can do this in multiple ways. If it's not, if it's communicating, writing, poetry, music. Thank you, Spirit. Communicating, writing, poetry, music, yoga, working it out, um, going to the gym, hitting a punching bag. I don't know if you guys watch How to, How to Get Away with Murder, but in the final season, um, um, I can't, whenever I'm explaining the story, I can never get the characters' names right. Um, but Viola Davis, um, she had checked herself into rehab, and um, it's crazy this message is coming up, how soon. So let me circle back. With the amethyst, I said at the beginning, it is a, a sobriety, a sobriety, sobriety, sorry, it's a sobriety stone. Um, and you may be overindulging. So with the heart, 
you may be overindulging with, you know, smoking weed, um, popping pills, drinking, doing other drugs. Um, and with that, your higher self is trying to bring some things to your attention so you can get to the next level. But you're choosing unhealthy addictions to ignore this. Um, and before I even turn over this card, and with that being said, you're, you're trying to create new seeds from a dark place and baby, the way you're doing it is very, very unhealthy and self-sabotaging. Um, and with, <laughs> I went back to this because with the episode and how to get away with murder in the final season, um, Viola Davis checked herself into rehab um, to try to understand why she had an addiction. I mean, it's the root of the addiction that she had with alcohol and drugs. And one of the exercises to help release um, was that um, they took a, they have a they had a pillow and a little the little stick from um, fireplaces. Pig stick, I think it was called. I don't know. But um, the instructions were to use the pillow as like the punching bag. And the stick is how you express your frustration. And as um, you begin to hit, you know, every dark aspect of, of self that comes up, everything that you've been told, um, you're less than, you couldn't be, um, you don't deserve to be loved. Um, all of that trauma that comes up, you start to, you're basically, it's like you're, you're beating it out of you without literally beating it out of you. Um, and then you go from the, the, the pain and the trauma and all of those words that were spoken and, and have been, um, not only that you've spoken to yourself, but that have been spoken to you and those experiences. And then it went from that to reaffirming yourself. I am power. I'm loyalty. I'm love. You know, I deserve all, you know, whatever it is. And I truly believe that that will be powerful for you instead of resulting to unhealthy addictions um, and, and you know, grabbing that bottle of wine or, or going out to the bar or connecting with those friends that aid in you self-sabotaging self yourself. Um, find healthier alternatives um, to connect with your higher self connect with your heart chakra because your heart chakra is what balances a higher and lower self um, and express it in a healthier way and you'll start to be rewarded for that because if you continue to go on this path that you're going down on you have 16 twice your baby <laughs> the tower moments that you will have if you continue to self-sabotage it's going to be so much harder to to come out of all right and um, let's see the daily um, prayer meditation you need to say how to. It says aging. And I'm going to read this. It says, I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. All right. I want to get one more. May I call to get one more um, for this? And with this, no matter how old you are, you can st still achieve whatever you want to desire, okay? Baby, I am 31 years old, okay? I am 31. Um, I do not have children. <laughs> I do not have, I have not, I am not with my divine partner. Um, I just started my business last year. Um, at the age of 30, my own entrepreneurship business. So no matter how old you are, if you're 20, if you're 30, if you're 40, if you're 50, if you're 60 watching this, maybe every day that you are giving the option to wake up and rise and see the sun, you have the option to fulfill and it's... I'm gonna, this one's sticking out, so I'm gonna leave that one. I didn't know that. Um, I'm gonna take this to our spirit path. So this really has some messages to get through. 
how to spirit really has some messages to get through to you. Um, but no matter how old you are, you can achieve whatever you desire. If you're 50 years old and you wake up one day and just say, I desire something new, especially since we're approaching the new moon in Aries. Aries um, is the start of the astro astrological new year. Um, and this is the last new moon before we get into Taurus season. So no matter how old you are, baby, you can use today. Um, you can use tomorrow. Tomorrow is Jupiter Day. Friday is Venus Day. Saturday is Saturn Day, which is Day of Discipline. And the Sunday is the start of a new week. Um, it is the day of the sun and it's also a new moon in Aries. So use this time to start now, start to plan whatever it is you want to create, whatever conversations you want to have, whatever it is you want to do, baby, you can do it there. You are, it's never too late. It doesn't become too late until it's time for you to transition into the, the next lifetime. But if you're here watching this. Your time is now. I'm telling you, spirit is confirming your time is now. Um, you also got, I'm gonna go with true love next. True love. This says, your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. And this is um, finding that true love you desire within, finding wholeness and that royalty um, and that essence of true divine love within without looking for it within others. So if we were to, you know, go back to what was brought up about having those unhealthy um, friendships that um, entertain the self-sabotaging self aspects of self, we were to go back to that it's you know you don't need to connect with these people to feel fulfilled and whole within um you can do it within self whatever you desire honey if you desire fucking um taking it i don't know why future song is coming up rich sex but honey if you desire to have rich sex in your lifetime um if you desire to experience it if you never had that type of love experience baby create it for yourself okay rent out a penthouse rent out a, a fucking yacht rent it out baby go to the sex store and create a whole scenery with yourself and love on yourself make that love to yourself affirm yourself as you're making that love to yourself okay taking it away from a sexual aspect from a partner if you desire to be catered to love to fucking flown out, um, whatever the case may be, do that for yourself. If you desire to be married, buy yourself a fucking, excuse me, buy yourself a ring. Um, to just let you in on myself, like I said, I'm not with my divine partner, but I am very, very big on self-love and catering to myself and anything that I desire outside of myself, I am big on fulfilling that within so um for my 32nd birthday um which is a five it will be a five year for me um and we are in a five year astrologically which focuses on the heart chakra um which also focuses um, which is focused on leo energy leo rules the heart chakra i'm a leo sun it's a five year it's it is all synchronized with me so this year i am flying myself out first class um to places i've never been in the west coast i am also purchasing um a ring for myself it's going to be um a rose quartz um ring um because rose quartz represents self-love and rose quartz crystals will definitely be great for you guys as well outside of amethyst um but with the rose quartz like i'm just i'm committing to myself i am giving myself the love that i need um, I make love <laughs> to myself and I honor my energy. I know my worthiness. I know my power and, and I'm going to continue to fulfill that and give that to myself and my inner child um, while the divine orchestrates everything else to line up and be shown up in my physical reality. Um, so definitely do that for yourself. Um, take yourself out on dates. Um, who cares if someone looks at you weird? I take myself out all the time, honey, and I be zoned out, okay? 
and zoned out, loving on me. All I have to worry about is me. And baby, I'm good over here, okay? I'm good over here. All right. So we have AJ, we have true love. And then the final message, pal, to is titled Mistakes. And it states, allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels love no matter what. And you guys, I didn't read these cards before I'm speaking. I just love how spirit confirms. But with that being said, you're not too old to shift. You're not too old to change. You're not too old to start loving. You're not too old to start loving on yourself. Um, anything you desire, it is yours. But in order for you to achieve that true loyalty that you're trying to invite in for this Aries um, new moon, you definitely have to dive within. If you're trying to attract something that's not um, attract that you're you seem to not be attracting and you've tr tried to for so long um, that means there's something within that you're ignoring and start with the heart chakra all right <sighs> that was a lot thank you pal two for being here with me one 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 on the clock um, new beginnings are ahead again you can start today um, please subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed. If you want to book a tarot reading with me, um, you can do so through my website. The information will be, be below. Um, I will leave the links to the cards below, um, who they are and their authors, or what they are and their authors. Um, also, please check out my website. Um, I have um, self-healing, um, body care for the Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, I'm really, really big on self-care, self-ritual um, routine for the energetic body or energy vibration, cleansing and healing is my theme. That's what I represent. Um, I currently do have a sale going on with all of my products, 40% off of all orders that are $25 or more. And I also offer free shipping. Um, please get in on that um, if you haven't already. Um, if you want to donate, I will leave all of that information below. Um, and I will see you for the next um, for the next moon um, in Scorpio, which will be the Scorpio full moon at the end of this month. So also see what you're inviting in and what needs to be worked on um, because the Scorpio full moon is definitely going to bring up um, suppressed shadow energy um, that you have not, or that the collective, not you specifically, but maybe you. But the collective um, has been ignoring. So help this helps. Comment, like, subscribe. I do interact back. Follow me on Instagram. Um, if you're on Clubhouse, I do do a weekly Clubhouse session on healing generational childhood trauma. I do it every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And also Fridays at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please check it out. Um, it's a great healing um, environment. And that's all I have. Again, thank you, pal, too. I love you guys. See you in a couple of weeks.